Hey, what's up? I'm Raya, and today I'm walking you through how to fix a game that refuses to launch. Let's dive into these steps to get you back in the game. Step one, update graphics drivers via device manager. Click the search box in your taskbar and type device manager. Open device manager, expand display adapters, and right click your graphics card. Select update driver, then choose search automatically for drivers. When done, click close and exit the windows. This might not always work, so proceed if the game still won't launch. Step two, download the latest graphics drivers. Open a web browser and search for the latest driver for your graphics card model. Links to drivers for various video cards are in the description below. I'm using an NVIDIA card, so I'll visit their site and click download now. Wait for the download to complete, then run the installer. Agree to the terms and install the driver. Open the NVIDIA app, go to the Drivers tab, and click Search for Software Updates. If updates are found, download and install them. Close the NVIDIA app and restart your computer and try launching the game. Step three, adjust graphics settings. If the game still doesn't launch, click the search box and type Graphics Settings. Open Graphics Settings and find your game in the list. If it's not listed, click Browse to add the game's executable file. Note, I'm using a placeholder file called Game for this guide. Don't get confused. Select the game, click Options, choose High Performance Mode, and Save. Close the window and move on. Step 4. Verify game files on Steam. Launch Steam, head to your library, and locate the game. Again, my example uses a file named Game. Right-click the game, select Properties, and go to Installed Files. Click Verify Integrity of Game Files and wait for the process to finish. Then, in File Explorer, right-click the game's executable, select Properties, and go to the Compatibility tab. Check Run this program in compatibility mode and try Windows 7 or Windows 8. Enable Disable Full Screen Optimizations, too. The Run this program as an administrator option can sometimes cause issues, but test it out. Only use Run in 640x480 resolution as a last resort, as it reduces visual quality significantly. Click Apply and OK. Try launching the game again. Step 5. Install DirectX and Visual C++ files. If the game still won't start, open a web browser and visit the two websites listed in the description. On the first site, download DirectX, accept the license, run the installer, and click Finish when done. On the second site, download the three Visual C++ redistributable files listed. Install each by accepting the license and clicking Install. If one file fails to install, don't panic, it might not be compatible with your processor, but the others should work. Step six, check for Windows updates. Click the search box, type updates, and open check for updates. Click the button to search for updates. If any are found, download and install them. Then restart your computer. Step seven, disable unnecessary startup apps. Right-click the taskbar, select task manager, and go to startup apps. Disable any apps you don't need running at startup, then close Task Manager and restart your computer. Step 8. Add game to Windows Security Exclusions. Click the search box, type Windows Security, and open it. Go to Virus and Threat Protection, click Manage Settings, and scroll to Add or Remove Exclusions. Click on Add an Exclusion, select the game's folder, and try launching the game again. Step 9. Run System File Scanner. Click the search box, type CMD, right-click on Command Prompt, and select Run as Administrator. Type SFC slash Scan Now and press Enter to scan and repair system files. This might take a while, so be patient. Once done, close the window and restart your computer. These steps should help resolve most issues with a game that's not launching. Get back to gaming and have fun!